how I identify myself as a trans woman of color. I'm on this journey to reposition everything externally to match everything that's internally. I have to be myself or die trying. I say that I have tranorexia, that every time I look in the mirror, for some reason I see my previous self. Even though people from my past say it's so hard to remember who he was, and we don't see him. Imagine waking up every day uncomfortable in your own skin, looking in the mirror and not quite recognizing the person that you feel internally. It is important for me to get facial feminization surgery because now my facial structure will match my internal expression of who I am. The doctor that I've chose, Dr. Obang, is a corrective surgery doctor. So, today is your big day, right? Today is your big day. So, in your own words, what are we doing for you today? We're going to stand the forehead down, the chin, and then the nose would get balanced to these two because I really don't want a major nose job. What's beautiful right now is that we're starting to get to a space where everyone's being allowed to operate on a spectrum. One extreme being completely female, the other extreme being completely male. Now what's in between is what you choose. Okay. My definition of what being a woman of trans experience is, is living um, a reality that is mirroring a cisgendered woman's expression. I want my body to look completely female because that's how I see and that's how I feel. But that's just me. So eventually you would like to have a vagina? Yes. Okay. Now this is a, it's a 10 hour surgery. Right, so my philosophy, like I told you, we are going to do what's safe. Okay. I know you can, you know, I can do all of this at the same time. If we get to a point where we feel like we need to stop, we stop. Because you're young, you know, we're not in a hurry for anything. So we want to start from, we to work our way this way. Okay. okay. For me, it's scary. What am I going to see? Am I going to recognize myself? Am I going to be happy with these results? Were these the results that I really wanted? I think it's going to be more than just a look, but it will be a new confidence. It will be a new definition of self. After this surgery, I'll be able to reintroduce the real me. So healing for me was nothing at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, you know, day seven, I see bruises, but you know, I'm trucking along. There were so many hiccups along the way. My body was just storing trauma. I think by day seven, I wanted, you know, I wanted to reverse everything. I wanted it to stop and so much stuff was done to me. And while my body could take it mentally, dealing with it and physically dealing with it was a lot. But today, looking back at it all, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And it feels fucking incredible. This whole surgery, I will say that it changed me. It changed the way I see myself. It changed the way I define myself. It changed the way I introduced myself to the world. I'm now in a space where I understand this isn't my end result. We just got one more surgery, to so. It's just that last step where Dr. Obeng's gonna assist me in getting my vagina. I'm defining me and who and what I am and my female expression is mine and don't you dare tell me how to be. Thank you for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.